So our time here in Shanghai is done. No more luxury hotel, I really enjoyed this hotel. Time to head to Beijing, the capital of the country. I heard it's completely different to Shanghai. We're about to find out how. So, just in the taxi heading out of Shanghai now. We're gonna go to, we're not gonna fly to Beijing, which is, uh, by the way, this country is so big. I mean, Beijing's not exactly around the corner. If you fly, it's like a four hour flight. But what we're gonna do is uh, we decided we're gonna take the bullet train, which is uh, this high tech train that they have over here. Um, it's supposed to be like the very latest in technology. And trust me, this country, they, they're at the cutting edge of a lot of technology when it comes to infrastructure. So really looking forward to taking this bullet train and seeing what it's like. It's a ticket. Let's do this. So we're on the, we're on the bullet train now. Okay, this is supposed to be the fastest train you can get. Fastest in the world. Um, it is absolutely packed. Everything in this country is just on a different scale. It's unbelievable. But even though it's a bullet train, it's still going to take us about nearly six hours to get to Beijing. So let's just chill. Basically, we've uh, arrived in Beijing now. That was a long ride on that bullet train. Even though the train goes over 200 miles an hour, it's so far from Shanghai to Beijing, it took about five hours. Five hours, six hours? Six hours, six hours. it was long. Uh, got to Beijing now, this is sort of part of the hotel. It's not as nice a hotel as in Shanghai, but it's still pretty decent. It's almost got like a little shopping center sort of thing inside it. We're kind of inside at the moment because it's raining. That's going to be one of the problems over the next couple of days. There's a lot of rain predicted. Also, the internet speeds in this hotel ain't as great as, uh, as the other place. I mean, the, that's one of the problems in China. Is internet is not, it's not like England. It's not, you, you, Google's not available and things like that. It's different, you know what I mean? You know, I'll just say it's different. Um, but this place is pretty nice. I mean, look at this. It's a traditional tea house here. Okay, if you want to get all your teas in that mode like it. Yeah. <laughs> Miserable weather today in China. It's still quite warm. Uh, we're gonna get some tickets for the game now. There's this myth that goes around that we get tickets given to us. No, we gotta buy them like everybody else. And I don't fancy buying them off the ticket touts. I saw the other night, a friend of mine, he bought two um, tickets, went to the door, put them in. Ticket touts, they specialize in that over here. Let's get some tickets. <laughs> Everything you do here, you have to show them your passport number. I want to 
wanna know who you are. I'll just submit you quick here. You think we get tickets for free? Right. Well. For these games over here in China have been very expensive, I have to say. Um, and a lot of the local fans, I've like, oh, spoken to a lot of them and they've complained about it, saying that, you know, if they would have made it a bit cheaper, it would have been sold out ten times over. But it's not down to Arsenal, it's more down to um, Company the, the companies who put it on. But then the companies are putting on about to pay Arsenal and Chelsea loads and loads of money to do this event, so you can understand why they want to recoup back their money. Alright, they're giving us a poster. We don't get that everywhere. Very nice. Roll it up and then we'll put it in the back. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take this back to England. Give it away. And uh, give it away in something, yeah? I'm going to need to and try and give them away again. So authentic, authentic poster from the tour. Tickets got, posters got, we're gonna give these posters away, all right? So look at- Things we we'll do, do for the fans. Yeah, we'll do a competition. Posters. We'll do a competition in this video. Give away these posters. We're on our way to the game, the bird's nest. Maybach, I'll tell you, any car you can think of, they got it here in China. Don't be thinking this is no poor third world, cup, world, third world country. They got it here, Maybach. That's about 200 grand in England. And before you start, it's not my car, all right? I've probably got one of them bikes over there. So we're about to head into Tiananmen Square, really famous place um, for people here in China. Really famous for in 1989 they nearly had a revolution there as well but we're gonna check it out let's go Down here they do like we used to do back in the day, parade all the tanks and everything down this road. I remember as a youngster watching it on TV when all the people were protesting here in Tian Tiananmen Square. And this is a place of a lot of significance for uh, Chinese people. They've still got a big picture over there of, uh, I think it's, it's Chair, Chairman Mao. He's like uh, the guy who's like the, the main person of the revolution that they had here in China. But it's again, everything they do in China is big and awesome. Great view here of the Chairman. statues they got here. Remember when you talk about Red Army, I know Arsenal got a Red Army, over here they quite literally do have a Red Army. This is. What the? That looks like worm. That looks too clever to me, man. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Could be like a salad thing, I don't know. I ain't chancing it, that's for sure. Right. It's like a Corona. I thought it was a little small soup, like in a in a bowl this size. That's too big. Uh, <laughs> totally for look, I didn't even touch my soup. What soup was that? Uh, corn soup. Corn.